You never know you need it. I had to make me a way, had to get a bit go. I was so sort of the chance. Alright, so this is my first flow tutorial. I'll just be teaching you how to uh, do the basics of flow. Um, this is my first tutorial, so here's just the clips I'm using, and this is how it looks like before I add anything or any of the effects. The only thing I have on here is this fixture for now, so let's get into it. So for my first clip, I'm gonna try to add a impact shake. So here's my preset, and I'll give you guys the settings for now. I'll leave it up on the screen. Basically, how you use this is you go to amplitude. And then just uh, press U on your keyboard to bring up the keyframe controls. And you want to put the keyframe, the first keyframe in the front of the clip, and then the second one in the middle, and make sure it's at zero. Also, I'm sorry for my voice. I have, like, allergies right now. So, all right. And then you want to apply this graph. It looks like this. Um, if you have flowchart, you can just do it like this, but I'll teach you. I mean, I'll show you how it looks um, without flowchart. All right, so after you're done with everything, it should look like this. Alright, and for my second clip, I'm just going to do the same thing. Uh, no difference. Alright, and now I'm going to teach you how to do a simple transition with position. So put one position keyframe at the end, and another one like four or five frames before that. And then you just want to like slide down and just mess with it. Um, mine looks like this, if you want to just copy what I'm doing. Alright, and after you're done with position, you just want to easy ease it, and then add a graph that looks like this or you know whatever graph you want and personally i usually make the first scene very subtle like this transition for the second scene i put one keyframe like in the beginning and then the other one like um almost near the end of the clip and I'll always make sure that I'm motion tile of course And you want to add a graph that looks like this, or something similar to it. I'm actually going to add my second graph all the way at the end of the clip, just because I think it looks smoother that way. And of course, keyframe it to your own liking. Mine just looks like this. I'm not really trying to make it look very good, since, you know, this is just my tutorial for it. I also usually like to add um, a scale to the second clip. The first one, the first frame in the beginning being 100. The second one, um, at the end being like 115. And I just apply the graph you see on my flowchart to it. And usually the scale sets, sets it up for the camera movement. And what I'm adding right now is a null layer. Also remember to grab the string thing on your clip and just attach it to whatever null you're applying it to. And usually when I do the camera movement, I put a position keyframe at like every four frames of the clip. And then I usually go to like the second keyframe and I just like put it up a little bit or to the left or wherever and then to the next one I usually put it like down to the right or or just wherever honestly. Just make sure they're not like too far from each other and too strong. After I do that I just easy ease all of them and it, it should like look something like this. And for the next clip I just um I'm gonna make it go to this scene where this lady is holding a gun. I forgot her name. But, you know, so I'm gonna make it slide to the, the left. And I'm just gonna see how that looks like. I'm gonna apply my graph, of course. And then I'm gonna go to my next clip and just simply try to line them up. So at this point, you should already know. Just add a first clue for him in the beginning. And then, like, one around the end. And I'm gonna make, make sure it's coming from the direction where the other one came from. As you can see, this one's going to the right. So I'm gonna make this one pull from the left to the right. And then just add my graph, of course, you know. I'm actually gonna try to make the keep, I mean, the transition look stronger. So I'm gonna pull it more to the left and, you know, mess around with it. Now it just looks like this. And like the other one, I also like to add a little bit of skill. So, you know, first frame, 100 and then Second at the end, I uh, usually do 115. All right, so now it looks like this. And as you see, it doesn't really look great, but if you have like, you know, exposure and more camera flow, I mean, camera movement and stuff, it'll obviously look much better. Like, I recommend effects like Escalant and, yeah, just Escalant. Well, if you're wondering how I did like this tree transition, I just got the pen tool and I went around the tree and just messed it out. Wondering how to do it, uh, just click the pen tool and just 
mask around wherever you want to mask. As you can see, I'm just using this as, a, as an example. And if you guys want any other tutorials, just leave it down in the comments. Maybe I could do um another one just way more in depth. Just let me know.